Well, that explosion is said to happen sometime tomorrow between 11 and noon. And NASA says their space museum will still be open and there are no planned closures in the area. But anybody around to hear it will be witnessing history. These images from NASA give you a glimpse of what's in the works for future space travel. The purpose of this test is engineers are determining how much pressure the uh, habitat can actually withstand. Rebecca so Wicks with, with NASA says inflatable habitats similar to this will be tested Saturday morning. It will produce a very loud boom, which might actually sound like a small explosion to people. So what can you expect? <sighs> like a atomic bomb, yeah. A bomb probably, or like, <laughs> like maybe a liftoff. Close, but not quite. Wick says the explosion expected to be around 140 decibels will sound similar to this. Wick says the prototypes are being tested for missions after NASA's Artemis 3 moon mission, which is planned for 2025. The first crewed mission scheduled to make a lunar landing since the Apollo 17 in 1972. She says the habitats will be a space where astronauts live, work and play. We're still in the development process for these habitats to better understand how we can modify them and improve them. History being made right here in Space City. You know, to feel that sense of pride and joy that they're contributing to the future of humanity and all that important science is done being done literally right in our backyard. Brittany Ford, KHOU 11 News.